Greetings friends. I'd like to commence by respectfully acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land in which we meet. For myself, it's the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. I honour all other Aboriginals and Torres Strait Island people who are joining us. I'd also like to thank the Faith Ecology Network for the invitation to join you for this most important event, which is aligned with our purpose at UNA NSW, and that is to inform, inspire and engage Australians to create a safer, fairer and more sustainable world and with a focus on promoting a sustainable and resilient future for people and planet. We do this while thinking globally and acting locally. The UN Secretary General, in fact, said recently that this is a time of great peril and promise and that we are at a crossroad with consequential choices before us and that it can go either way, break down or break through. And as we encroach on nature and deplete vital habitats, increasing number of species are at risk. That includes humanity and the future we want. The UN, however, has enormous potential to initiate positive change and with unique experience is the only international organisation dedicated to dealing with problems without passports. These include addressing the catastrophic decline of the planet's natural environment. To increase understanding and awareness of biodiversity issues, the UN proclaimed the 22nd of May, the International Day for Biological Diversity, and celebrates this day by examining the fundamental role of nature in ensuring human health and good nutrition. This year, the theme is, we are part of the solution. The slogan was chosen to be a continuation of the momentum generated last year under the overarching theme, our solutions are in nature, which served as a reminder that biodiversity remains the answer to sustainable development challenges. And that was a message from the recent UN Convention on Biological Diversity. The first part of this convention was held last month and was inspired by the world's growing commitment to sustainable development. As Elizabeth Murray and Maria, Executive Secretary of the Convention, said in her closing statement, throughout the past two days, we have shared our vision towards building collective action and driving transformative change. We have voiced our ideas to reconcile social and economic development with socio-ecological objectives to reduce the pressure on diversity and to address human inequity. The second part of the convention will be held early 2022 when it is anticipated that negotiations will be concluded on the post-2020 global biodiversity framework. That is a new accord to help um, reverse the loss of the planet's plants and ecosystems. It represents a dramatic step forward in the conservation of biological diversity the sustainable use of its components and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from the use of genetic resources. Furthermore, through the UN Sustainable Development Goals 2030 agenda, the UN is further advancing work towards protecting key biodiversity areas. Such, such efforts will hopefully help the rebuilding of our relationship with nature not just for us, but for our future generations as well. And I personally feel confident that we can all contribute to help building a fairer and more sustainable for world in the wonderful spirit of humanitarian mateship through working together. And I wish you every success with your most important work today and in the future. Thank you.